Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I uh, opened my Cosmo app this morning and look at the surprise again. Constellations, celebrate Astronomy Day with Cosmic Constellations. Well, first of all, I did not know that today was Astronomy Day. Uh, I learned something new again. And um, I'm a big fan of astronomy. I don't know if you saw on my channel, I did a video a few months ago of my 10-inch uh, telescope. Yes, 10-inch, it's a big one. It's a Dobsonian. So if you haven't seen that, I invite you to have a look at that. So if we tap on Play Now in Code Lab, as always, the screen will disappear and we will not see this again. So let's uh, connect with uh, Cosmo. Good morning, my friend. Hey, how are you this morning? Good morning. Well, apparently you're uh, good in astronomy. I have no idea what you are going to show us today, Cosmo, but uh, I can't wait to uh, access the page here. I didn't have to go to uh, Code Lab. Uh, the uh, opening screen showed the instructions uh, right away. So make sure Cosmo has some room to drive around, okay? Tap the start flag and watch as stars connect to form a constellation. Be sure to replay and see them all. Oh, I see. So there are many constellations. So it looks like we don't need the cubes. I'm going to put the cubes away. And we have Cosmo here. He's going to drive around. Uh, we have to make sure he has enough room to drive around. Okay, so I'll click on start and see what happens. Oh, he said, he said Cassiopeia. We'll see what happens. Oh, he's drawing the constellation on his face, as you can see, at the same time as he is uh, actually driving around to uh, do the shape of the constellation. I'm almost at the edge of the table here. And he gives information on the... Tap a cube for okay, he wants us to tap again. He gives also information on the constellation, which is uh, very cool. We'll, uh, we'll look inside the code just to see what are the constellations that uh, he can draw. The first loop that we see here is choose which constellation to get the data for. Now that's interesting, we'll see what the constellations and key included. So we have Cassiopeia, we see here, we have Leo, we have Libra, we have Aurea, Orion, and Scorpius. So uh, that's a very interesting, nice mix of uh, constellations. Here we have, when the user taps the cube, get the next constellation. And this did not work, as we just saw. Here we have fill up the choices list with constellation numbers. I have no idea what this is, honestly. Shuffle the constellation uh, choices list. This looks like it's shuffling so that when you play again, you don't get the same uh, constellations uh, in the same order. I guess this is the reason. Now, if we go to the uh, second column of uh, code, we have initialize variables and start the activity. So this is what happens when we click or tap on the green flag. Then we have get the next constellation in the list or start from the beginning. Here we have use the data from the instructions list to decide whether to draw a dot, a line, both or neither. This is very sophisticated code here to decide what you draw on the Cosmos face. Here we have set up the data for the Cassiopeia constellation. Okay, so here we have each point and line that Cosmo is going to draw. So I guess there will be a line of code like this for every constellation. But what's interesting here is that at the end, when we get some information on the constellation, here we can see we have a, a choice of four, 
that, uh, that we can hear from the Kosovo for Cassiopeia. This is very interesting. The next uh, column of code on the, on the right here, get the distance between two coordinates. Then we have used the slopes of two intersecting lines to get turn degrees for Cosmo. Again, very sophisticated here. Randomly choose a fact for Cosmo to say. This was at the end of uh, drawing the constellation. And then clear all data from the project lists. And find out oh, here when, uh, okay, receive. Here we have uh, set up the data for the Leo constellation like we saw for Cassiopeia. This is to draw Leo on Cosmo's face. And at the end, he has here three options to say, not four. Uh, these are the three ones that he can say. Again, going to the right, here we have loop through sets of coordinates to drive and draw lines and dots. Very sophisticated code here again. This is a very long loop. Oh, here we have set up the data for the Libra constellation. Okay, this is the third one. And we'll see at the end what are the options that the Cosmo will say. Four things that the Cosmo can say at the end. Here we have set up the data for the Orion constellation. This is my favorite, by the way. There's some cool stuff to see there with a 10 inch telescope in the middle of the constellation. Here we have at the end, Cosmo can see here four different uh, uh, data uh, information at the end. And I believe this is the last one, set up the data for the Scorpius constellation. And this was a long one. This was very long. You need like a big space. I had trouble like to follow with my camera. And at the end, Cosmo here has a, a choice of four uh, phrases to say. This is it guys, Constellation Day. Like I said at the beginning, I am a big fan of astronomy and this is very cool uh, coding by uh, Anki to, uh, to draw a constellation on Cosmo's face and to drive the path, as you saw, requires a lot of uh, coding. So very impressive. So thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon on my channel. Have a great day. Goodbye.